Hey guys, today we're going to be putting decals on the 152. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how I set up all these decals and uh, print them out with just my regular uh, printer that you guys probably have at home. So what I do is I open up Excel spreadsheet, import the file in there, and I can turn it 90 degrees and it will actually the continue the decal all the way down the pages. I just cut off the numbers there and just reposition them to the bottom. These are the sheets I just bought them off of Amazon. Uh, you can buy a whole pack of them for 11 bucks. Uh, first thing you wanna do is just cut a strip off the bottom so that way it fits in the printer better and it, the printer doesn't get jammed up on the piece of uh, paper. Now, now it's just time just to cut them all out. Just use the hobby knife. Okay, so now that you have all the decals printed and cut, uh, it's time to start uh, adding them to the fuselage. So. so here's how I attach each decal together. On one side, I leave the margin uh, where it's at, and one of I cut it just right to the edge of the actual uh, color on the decal, and then I stick uh, one decal over the other one, and then just uh, pull the backing off the stickers there, and then it'll just be one long piece that I can uh, lay on there. Okay, now that we've got the fuselage done, let's start work on the wing. This is the method that I use for doing the decals. 3D Lab Print recommends you to bring them to a decal shop and have them print them off. Uh, but this is the way you can do it at home. Here's the uh, airplane with all finished up with all the decals. I wanted there to be a little bit more color to the plane and have some uh, color on the wheel pants and uh, make it look a little bit better. So I started looking at some airplanes for some ideas on uh, painting. Went down and got some uh, Crayolon uh, paint that works good for plastics and then I got a bunch of different tapes and started experimenting with uh, what tape works the best. So after a couple of test pieces, uh, this is the frog tape. This definitely works the best. So if you're gonna be using any uh, spray paint on PLA, I would definitely recommend that. This is the color I'm using is Satin Iris. So I got a roll of frog tape and paper so I can cover the airplane and not have any overspray once I'm doing the spray painting. So I first just uh, start with the wingtips. I use the green frog tape that works the best. Now that I have the wingtips painted, I'm gonna pull back the green tape and see how it looks. There's hardly any bleeding. Now I'm gonna cut this part out here in the center where the sunroofs are at, and I'm gonna tape those off around with uh, the green tape. On the wingtip, I want to add a black line, so I'm going to use two pieces of this four millimeter tape. And the first one is just a spacer between the blue line and where I want the actual line to be. And then I'm going to tape green on both sides of the actual line and then pull that one four millimeter piece off. And then that's the line that I'm going to paint. And then there I can take off the tape after I've got it all painted. And this is how the line comes out. And there I'm going to add this battery wrapped in paper so that way I can uh, keep the, the airplane will sit level when I'm working with it. So uh, here I'm starting to lay out the lines on the side. I put uh, using green tape for all of the lines. I'm just using this blue tape as kind of a guide and I put that over top of the green tape and then I just run my hobby knife right along that and cut that uh, right along the blue tape. And then once I have that done, I can just pull that blue tape off and then it's just one, uh, that frog tape is the only thing that's used on the actual plane. For all the lines, like these uh, wheel pants, and uh, for the side, I use that uh, thin vinyl masking tape as just a guide, and I just eyeball it for both sides of the airplane. Now that I've all that done, I can start just uh, masking off the plane and getting it ready for paint, uh, just covering everything up so you don't get any overspray. For adding numbers on the side, I just printed us numbers out on the sticker sheets uh, and then I put the green tape on and put the sticker over top of the green tape and then I just cut with the hobby knife through the sticker and uh, just leave the green tape attached to the airplane. I tried to use this these actual sticker sheets as stencils uh, on a test piece and it, it definitely didn't work. 
again, just using that green tape uh, definitely works the best for this plastic. Now it's time to start adding the paint. So I just uh, did multiple layers. The first layer I did was very light and then just let it dry for about 30 minutes and then do a second layer, third layer, and I ended up doing about five layers in total. So here's the plane now that the blue is all done. I'm gonna leave most of the masking tape on the plane. I'm just gonna remove some parts of it where I wanna add uh, an extra line. Uh, so like here on the wingtips, I'm gonna put a black line and I'm gonna put the uh, paint the black windows. And on the wheel pants, I'm also gonna put a black line on there also. So I'm just cutting back the tape where I need it. And then I'm gonna do the same method I used on the wingtip, which I had just the two strips of four millimeter blue uh, tape and then just tape on each side of it with the frog tape and then pull the blue line off and then same thing with the wheel pants. For the windows I just used the frog tape taped around it and then I used a thin uh, about two millimeter blue tape there and just to run a nice line so I can get a perfect edge around there and then just use uh, that as a guide to cut the tape for the window. Now let's cover the rest of the plane with uh, masking tape. Thank you guys for uh, watching this video. Uh, here's the airplane all done, ready for uh, the next step. We're gonna start adding some uh, electronics, servos in it, and uh, getting it ready to fly. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you guys uh, get notified when I add uh, new videos.